Welcome back guys to another tutorial on how to burn ISO mods on GTA 4 original version. I will, um, today I'll be teaching you how to burn ISO mods on that. Uh, this is OB23 mods and let's get started. Four programs you will be need, that you will need will be linked in the subscription. You're going to need ABGX360. IMG uh, Image Burn, Xbox 360 Backup Creator, and you're gonna need um, you're gonna need uTorrent to download your patch. Now, guys, I'm gonna tell you that I will leave a link in the description to download both links off of Pirate Bay with your uTorrent. But first of all, you're gonna want to go ahead and go on Pirate Bay and go download yourself a copy of. Uh, a copy of GTA Original 4. Now, uh, you're just gonna be you're, what you're gonna do after the files are done. There'll be about a, like a a lot of files, and on the first file you're gonna click. Uh, if you have WinRAR, you're going to click. Uh, you're gonna right. You're going to right click and, and press Extract Files, and it'll take about 15 minutes to extract those files. And then you're gonna get two files. You're gonna get your ISO file, 7 million, and then you're gonna get your .dvd file, which would be your 1KB for your um, for Image Burn. So first of all, let's get started. First of all, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna open up, we're gonna open up Image Burn. I meant God, ABGX 360, and we're gonna run that as administrator. Always run your programs, the programs that I give you as administrator. We're going to go to options. We're going to go, we're going to check all of my settings. There you go. Make sure this is level 3. Check all this. Make sure this is level 3. We're going to go to rebuilding, default method. And then we're going to go to misc, which will be your console region code. You're going to want to select your region here. If you live in Australia, Europe, Japan, China, other, just select that. Check it. Press OK. Um, if uh, this is if you live in America, and uh, if you need to change the language, that's right here. You need to put this to your split vid to add if it doesn't exist or isn't valid. Images extract images when using HTML output. Now for add extra command line options here for advanced users only. Now. You're going to want to put in this exact code. Make sure you have the zero on there. Make sure the capital L, lowercase p, and the two lines right there. Now what we're going to want to do, go back to quick start, and we're going to open up the file in the right-hand corner side. Open files. Now we're just going to want to go to desktop, where you have extracted your GTA 4 at. We're going to open that. And we're just going to go ahead and click the 7 million file. After that, we're just going to press launch. And it'll start patching your mods up. Uh, now, for you, it'll be all green, and it'll, it'll, and it's gonna make sure it's a good copy. For me, it's gonna just give four incorrection errors because it's already modded. So now we'll just, uh, we'll wait till this is done in a sec. And I also want to add a few things about my channel. Uh, I am getting a JTAG RGH soon. Or, I mean, RGH, JK, kind of the same thing. I'm going to be getting one of those very soon. And we're and I'm going to start uh, doing 10th uh, lobbies for free. I mean, as long as it doesn't cost 90 bucks, as my friends are saying, to host uh, lobbies like that. I might be generous one day and do that for you guys. Infection lobbies, anything like that. Um, also, I want to talk about, I need a guy to make me a logo or an editor to make me like, you know, one of those beginning things to edit my stuff. And I just, I'm pretty new to this uh, YouTube stuff. So, um, I've created my channel a few days ago. And I'm pretty new to it. And I just want to, and I'm still trying to get a little popular here. And learn how to, uh, learn how to make a logo. Or somebody else makes me a logo for some money or something. Alright, we are now done. Okay, this is what you. It's gonna be all green for you, but it's since mine's modded, it's gonna be the four incorrection errors. It's saying it's bad, ripped, unstable, corrupted. It was modified for some reason. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna. And then after that, you're just gonna press any, any key to exit. You're going to exit out of here. And now we're gonna go ahead, run up. Uh, 
we're gonna go ahead and run up uh, uh, Xbox Xbox 360 backup creator. I don't know why that's not letting me run it as admin. Image tools, and we're gonna go to image browser. Now, wherever you have saved your mods at, uh, you will have the files or wherever. So now we're gonna go to file, open image file, and we're going to select your GTA file. And you're gonna want to select seven million one. And it'll load up as this. Okay, the first thing that we're going to want to replace is your Xbox 360.rpf file. I'm going to right click that, replace, and we're going to go ahead and find your mods that you have extracted to your desktop. And we're just going to go ahead and replace that with the Xbox 360.rpf. Oh, and guys, you need a Vertibim uh, DVD plus RDO disc to do these mods because the guy that gave me these modding files, for some reason, it will not work with a Memorex. So you're gonna have to use, um, you're just gonna have to use, uh, uh yeah, you're just gonna have to use the, you're just gonna have to go out and go get a Vertibim disc. It's the only way these mods are going to work for you. Now we're just going to right click on common. We're going to replace that. Okay. After you replace your two files, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to click on uh, common. You want to click on data and then CD images. We're going to replace the script network file. Here's your script network. Just gonna replace that like that, and now we are going to go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and minimize this. Open your Xbox 360 tab, go to anim, and we're gonna want to replace the anim file. Okay, we have replaced the anim file, and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, minimize that. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to go to open that back up. Open, you're going to go ahead and open models, CD images, and we're going to want to replace the vehicles and the weapons. So we're going to go to vehicles, replace, vehicles IMG. Um, just press OK on that. Now we're going to want to go to weapons, replace. Okay. Now we're going, uh, we're going to go ahead and close up. We're going to go ahead and close up the, this. So what we're going to do is we're going to close all these up. We're going to go to file, close image, exit out. Exit out of this, and we're going to go ahead and run it through ABGX one more time. Pop that in there, launch that file, and now this time you're going to get those four incorrect errors, which is what you want in this case. Back there on that one uh, thing, last I was going to make, I've made an, I was going to make another tutorial. Uh, last time and I screwed up and put the weapons file in the vehicles file so I had to make a whole new video so yeah and like I was saying before I do need um, once I get my once I have my friend come over with his PVR I will be um, we will be uh, doing PVR mods and stuff I'll show you my uh, PVR I'll tell you my mods over the PVR and stuff and all that but the mods that I'm equipping you guys with are going to be XMC 4.0 mods. I'll give you the link to that. Uh, XMC 4.0 public. I can't get you. I was going to get you guys XMC 5.0 private. But, I mean, that involves you using SEO toolbox and a bunch of complicated stuff that really I, I can't really put it into words to tell you guys. Okay, it's going to stop. Now, this time, you're going to see my four errors. The bad rip, unstable, and it was, and then you're going to want to just, then, just any key to exit. We're going to exit out of that. 
we're also going to exit out of uh, here. No, 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 sorry. We're going to oh, go ahead and open up Image Burn, run it as administrator, and you're going to put in your modded disk. That I mean, your Vertibim modded disk. Um, let me find. Mine will say it's not empty because I mean, mine will say yeah, it's not empty because I already have uh, mods on it. So let me just find my my mods really quick. Okay, here we go. I currently have XMC 4.5 Blacklist. Right now, that's what I'm using for mods. We are going to open this up. And we're going to go ahead and put that in your disk. Right there. Your disk tray. Close that up. And we are going to go ahead and press Write Image to Disk. Your disk will now read right here. And... Here you go, it'll give you all your information about that disk. Okay, now we're going to select the file here. I'm going to go to desktop, and you're going to go to where you save your GTA 4. Here, here, and now we're going to put in the .dvd file. It'll read uh, all your stuff right here. Don't freak out if you selected something else, like if you're from another country, and it says NTSC. Well, the mods were originally made in NTSC in the United States, but it's okay. As ABGX said, it's it's um, it's good to go. It's reading free. Now I put your write speed 2.4, copies 1. Now we're going to go to tools, settings, and we're going to check all the settings that I have checked here. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to want to go to right, and you're going to want to check all the files I have here, actually. Sorry about that. And now, for the most important part, if you did not read, if you did not watch my last tutorial, uh, for you that just want to mod GTA 4, it'll be at your, the new users with the image burn. You'll also be on calculate optimal. You're going to want to put it on user specified, and put in this very code right here, 191-3760. And checked all that, and we're just going to press OK. And for you, it will say, it'll say right right here. And we're just going to press right, and for, and it's just going to, it'll load your device buffer, and then it'll say buffer, and then it'll start loading at a percent at a time. And it'll probably take you, all right, if you have a good burner, 25 minutes, OK burner, maybe 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to exit out of here. Okay. This is OB23Mod signing out. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial. Rate, comment, subscribe, everything like that. Thanks a lot.